In this video, we're going to look at how we can add some branding to our YouTube channel page to make it look a bit more attractive to the users that are watching our videos. So right now from the YouTube Studio dashboard, I'm going to click on the drop down menu at the top right. And then I'm going to click on the link that says your channel. This will bring us to our channel page that users will see when they access our YouTube channel publicly. You can see that we have some videos here that we uploaded earlier in the course, but there's really nothing else here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of images. We're going to add a profile image in a canvas channel art image that will go across the whole top of our YouTube channel page. After that, we're going to add a little bit of information to our page about our company. So let's start with the images. To upload some images to the channel page, we're just going to click on the customize channel button up towards the top. Notice that on this page, we have a button that says add channel art. And channel art is the image that goes in this whole banner that's black and gray across the top of our screen. So let's go ahead and add that image. Now, when I click on the button, Notice that in the bottom right of this window, it tells us that YouTube's recommended channel art size is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels. So I actually have an image of that resolution and it's on my desktop. So let's go ahead and add it to our channel page. I'm just going to select a photo from my computer and I'm going to select the right one. That's this one here at the top that says channel art and we'll click open. You can see YouTube gives us a preview of what this image is going to look like on different devices. So, you know, if we wanted to adjust anything about the cropping of this image, we could by clicking on the adjust the crop button, but it looks good to me. I already did a lot of the cropping before I uploaded it to YouTube. So I'm just going to click select. And now we've got some channel art. So we've got this cake image across the top of our screen, and already I think that makes our channel look a lot better. But let's also add a profile image as well. That's gonna go where you see the T up here to the top left. So to add an image to our profile, we're just going to mouse over the image that's currently there and click on the pencil icon. Notice that it says that our channel icon is linked to a brand account. That's because we created a business YouTube channel here. This isn't our personal YouTube channel. Earlier in the course, we made sure that this was a brand account. So in order to get our profile image up here on YouTube, uh, we have to link it to our brand account. And it will do that for us automatically. But I think it's important to note here that it says that changes may take a few minutes. And in the past, I've experienced that. So we might not see it appear on our channel page immediately, but after a little bit of time, it will show up. But let's continue with the process. So here it brings us to our Google About Me page, and I'm not going to go over too much about you know what this all means. It is linked to YouTube, but it is essentially uh, you know not that important for uploading videos and building a following on YouTube. It's really just important for uploading this profile photo, and that's what we're doing right now. So it asks me to pick a photo, and we'll, you see that the photo we uploaded as our banner, our canvas image is there, but we have a different photo for our profile. So let's click on Upload Photo and let's select this profile picture I have on the desktop. Now the default size that YouTube recommends for your profile photos is 800 pixels by 800 pixels. And I've already cropped this image to be that size. So I'll just click on open. And again, we could crop this image if we wanted to just by you know dragging the corners here, but I've already cropped it to the size that I'd like. So I'm just gonna click on done. So you can see that the profile picture has been updated here on the Google About Me page. The bottom left, we get a little message saying it's been updated, but it might take some time for changes to appear everywhere. So if we go back over here to YouTube and we refresh our page, it's probably not, oh, it is, look at that, a lot quicker now. So there we have it. Our profile image has been updated. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and add some information about our company to the about section of our YouTube channel, just so that people know what we do and why we're here on YouTube. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the about link towards the middle of my screen. And we're brought to our channels about page, which doesn't really have that much information in it yet. So what we want to do is we want to add a channel description. So I'm just going to click on the channel description button. This is a great way to tell users what they can expect to see on your YouTube channel. So I actually have a channel description that I've already written for the Topsy Turvy Cake Design page. So let's go ahead and pull that up. So 
So I've got this text edit document. And you can see I have this about up here at the top. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard, move back over here to YouTube and paste it in. And there's our channel description. And I'll click on done. And let's go ahead and just read it. It says uh, Topsy Turvy Cake Design specializes in unique custom cake creations for every occasion. We only use high quality ingredients that taste delicious. This channel will feature recipes, baking how-tos, and some behind the scenes videos from our bakery. Great, that's perfect. That describes exactly who we are and what we're doing here on YouTube. Let's go ahead and add a few more things. We're also going to add an email address, first of all, so that if somebody wants to get in touch with us, they know where they can contact us. So let's go ahead and click on the plus email button. And I have the email address that I'd like to add right here. This is the email of the CEO of our company. So again, we will copy that and we'll paste it in. And then we're also going to add some links at the bottom. So let's click done for the email address scroll down a little bit here. And now we can add some links to our different social profiles and our website. So let's click on the plus links button. Now I just want to mention before we actually add these where they're going to show up. So if we scroll to the top here, they're actually going to show up over here towards the bottom right of our channel art image, just so you, you know, have a little bit of awareness of that. But let's go ahead and add a link. So we'll click add. And now we can enter the link title. And we'll just call this topsy turvy website. And then we need to copy and paste the URL of the website, which I also have over here. And we'll paste that in as well and click. Well, we could click done if we just wanted to add one website, but I also want to add our Facebook page. So let's go ahead and click add again. And this time we will call this Facebook. And I'll go back to my text edit document and I'll copy the URL for our Facebook page. And we'll paste that in as well. And now we can click on done. So you can see we now have two links here added to our about page, a link to our website and a link to our Facebook page. If we scroll up, you'll notice as I mentioned, we also have these links up here in our channel art. So you just could easily come to our YouTube channel, watch some videos and say, hey, I want to find out more. They don't even have to go to our about page, they could just click right on our website link at the top of the screen. So now let's go back to the home section to see what our channel looks like from there where we started. And there we go. Definitely looking a lot better. It's starting to come together. If we start to add more videos and get more content on our page, then we're really going to start looking like a professional account, an organization that really cares about how their brand looks. And usually when organizations care about how their brand looks, they also care about how their products and services perform. So that's definitely the impression that we want to give our viewers on YouTube.